Today, the topic is, do you know silence is a deadly weapon of the devil? Do you realize, do you know that by you being silent, by you not saying anything, by you being quiet about certain things that's happening in your country, in your environment, um, stuff like that, it's a deadly, it's a weapon. Silence is a weapon. So you need to know that. So silence is the greatest weapon of the enemy that Satan is using to spread his kingdom. I don't know if you know about that, if you are aware of that, but that is what he's using. That is weapon that he's using. That is the greatest weapon. Silent is the greatest weapon that, the, that Satan is using to spread his kingdom. So silent is the greatest instrument of that, of Satan. Because with silent, evil will continue to spread unlimitedly. Unlimited, right? Because when you're being silent about something, when you're not speaking about something, that is how the kingdom of darkness is growing. That is the, how wickedness grows. That is how hatred spread. Because people don't want to speak anything. Because they think, oh, it's a lot of work. It's just easier for me to just be quiet. But I'm telling you, it's not easier. You might not be feeling the pain, but somebody is going to suffer for that. So it is better for you to speak up and make yourself known, your voice known that, hey, hey, I'm not in I'm not in favor of what you're doing, or you be quiet, a lot of generation and people are gonna suffer because you decided to be quiet. So no one will challenge evil or fight it, right? So silence allows the reign of terror, the reign of oppression, the reign of pain, uh, anguish, and everything else. That's what silence brings in. That's what silence breathes in. Right? So Satan uses silence to spread his evil deed. Because silence is equals to darkness, you need to understand that. Silence is equals to darkness. You putting things under the rug, under the carpet, wherever, not speaking about it, it's taboo, it is no no. This is how evil spread. You need to be aware of that. You need to know that. So when silence is um, prevalent, Darkness is prevalent also. You need to understand that. So when silent, when silent, anywhere silent is, you will see darkness. You will see there is nothing like light there when it's silent because nobody wants to be open. Nobody wants to say anything because that's what darkness does. Darkness is hiding things. When, when for example, a room is dark, you don't see anything. Even if there is a danger in front of you, you cannot see it because it's dark. So if you are living your life and you don't want to explain anything, you don't want to show anything, you don't want to share anything, you don't want to open up anything, that means it's darkness because darkness there is no light, there is no penetration, there is no transparency, there is nothing such as that. So if Satan could get everyone to be silent about evil, it could get people not to talk about evil. Then darkness will grow and his kingdom of darkness will increase. That is his goal. That is what he's doing. He don't want anybody to talk. He don't want anybody to say anything. And then guess what? Is evil is going to spread and spread and spread. They silence you. Don't let anybody silence you. You see God, the way God created us. He gave us a will. He said, you can do whatever. Here are my rules. Here are my principles. But whatever you choose to do, you can do it. It didn't restrict you. Say, you must follow this truth by fire, by force, or you must. No, he gave you free will. He said, hey, if you do this, this, I've done it. This is the, the this is the outcome of this result. But if you decided to go with something else that I don't know, whatever result you got, you got it, right? So it does not matter if you are a wife or if you are a child. If there are wrong things happening in your family, then you have to expose those wrong things. If it's wrong, it is not righteousness because righteousness is the only thing that we're supposed to love. 
God says in his Bible, he gave us a principle. He gave us a law. He said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and righteousness. So that is all we human beings, we need to do here on earth. We need to seek ye first the kingdom of God and righteousness. Those are the two things that we need to go after. That's it. Nothing else. Nothing else we need to go after. Righteousness. Seek ye first the kingdom and righteousness. The kingdom of God and righteousness. That is it. That is it. So if there are evil things happening in your family, you don't have the obligation to keep quiet about it. You need to expose it. You need to, because when you expose it, when you need to talk about it, you're going to save a lot of people's life. You're going to save who the, the individual that is creating the evil. You're going to save that person's life and you're going to save a lot of people's life. So you must expose evil, especially if you know that those things are dangerous. Those things are bad. They could be destructive. You need to expose it. When you are aware, you say these things are dangerous, they're bad, and could be destructive, you need to speak up. You need to expose it. You need to raise your voice. You need to run for your life in those areas. Like I've been talking about abuses happening in home and I talk about a lot. So if you are new to my page or my YouTube channel, you need to check out the previous videos that I've done for the past couple of weeks. I've been doing videos for like almost two years, I believe over two years now I've been doing. So I have lots of videos in my YouTube channel and also on my Facebook page that you need to search for and you need to look for them. It will be easier if you go on my YouTube page because that's why I ask people to subscribe to my YouTube channel because it's easier. You'll find a lot of videos there that I've done and talked about a lot of different things, relationship, finance, um, self improving yourself in career wise and just self development issues that I've talked about a lot, and it's all there for free. So take advantage of it. So do not allow anybody to put you under a bondage of silence because today you go in the social media, you talk about anything that you know it is not right, it is not okay. There will be somebody that will come and want to shut you up. They want to shut you down, say, no, you're not supposed to talk about that. Uh, you're not supposed to do this. You're not for that. So please, do not allow anybody to drive you or manipulate you into becoming quiet about evil things that are happening around you in your country, in your, in your office place, or in your church, anywhere in your surrounding. Don't allow anybody to manipulate you into becoming quiet about things that are evil, that are wrongdoing, that is not right. God is a God of light. You need to understand that God is a God of light. God is a, is a, it's God is similar to light. That's what it is. There is no darkness in God. So if you are, you said you're a follower of God, you need to follow the light. You need to follow righteousness. You need to follow the right thing. You cannot be hiding, hiding and being secretive about things because that is not of God. God exposed everything, how he created the world. He, he told us about it, how he created man and woman. He explained that to us. He exposed everything. There was nothing he had hidden from us. He exposed everything he tell us. So anything that somebody's hiding from you, know that there is some kind of evil or darkness that is going on in between it or underneath it because there's nothing supposed to be hidden, right? So if you, you belong to God, no way you will love hiding things or keep evil you will love to expose or or criticize evil that is who you're gonna become you see evil you will expose evil if you see something is not right you will criticize and say no that is not okay that is not right that is not good and i don't think god will appreciate that so light comes to expose evil we need to know that so men who love darkness rather than light because of their evil deeds, they love darkness. They don't love light because of their evil deeds. That's why a lot of people love darkness. 
and rather than choosing light. So if you love light, you will be on the side of truth. You will be uh, um, open to things. You're not going to be hiding things. That is what happened. You'll be exposed. You'll be transparent. Like, for example, I used this example yesterday again. Our first lady, she has been questioned about certain money that she has been raising, like the first lady of Sierra Leone. Question, how? Well, well, how much money you raise? How much money you spend and stuff? And they will they will shut you down. Oh, none of your business. Or they will tell you stories after stories. Like if it's something genuine, why hide? Why not tell the truth? Why? Because the thing is about lies, it always come back and bite you. This is what I've learned about lying, about not saying the truth. It will always come and hunt you back and he will bite you and you will not like it. So that is why it is always good to say the truth because when you live by the truth, when you live by the light, no matter what, you can't change. You don't have to be scared about anything. You don't have to change anything because you know you set the truth. You set the absolute truth. So you don't have to do anything. You don't have to worry or be scared of making up stories and all that kind of stuff. So if you you are in any place where everything is is held in secrecy, then you are in the wrong place. You need to know that you're in the wrong place. You should not be part of that darkness. People are hiding their lifestyle because of evil. If you know you have a good lifestyle, there is nothing to hide about. Like a lot of pastors today, they will hide their lifestyle. They don't want their congregation to know about their lifestyle. They don't want this. They don't want that. If it's, there's nothing to hide, then you show it. Say, hey, this is what God wants. This is what God doing in my life. This is it. You need to expose. You need to talk about things. People do not want you to know what is happening with them because of evil. Most times. Because of evil. That is why people won't want to share that the, if something good happened to them, they don't want to share it with you. Because why? Because they're scared of evil. Because it's like, oh, I'm scared. If I tell somebody, somebody's going to bewitch me, this, that, that. So I am, I rather keep it to myself and all the kind of stuff. Evil is making people do insane things. People are hiding and running away from the light because they are secretive. They have things to hide. So now I'm going to talk about how you can identify an evil culture. How can you identify an evil culture? An evil culture, any culture that is discouraging you to openly discuss is a culture of darkness. Any culture, they don't want you to expose things. They don't want you to talk about things. They don't want nothing. Everything has to be hidden and that is an evil culture. That is how you identify. That is one way you can identify an evil culture. The other way, they hide secrets and an agenda. That is another way. The Bible said that there, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom, right? So there is supposed to be no hiding because you say wherever the spirit is, there is freedom. There has to be freedom of speech, freedom of you need to have you need to be free in whatever you're doing. They're not supposed to be restriction. There are laws and principles that we go by. Yes, they are there for a reason to, to guide us, but there's supposed to be a freedom. We're supposed to have freedom in freedom of speech. Yes, I say what I I am feeling, and you. Don't, you might not accept it. You might not be a good boy, but that is the feeling that is coming out of me, right? So the spirit of light is the spirit of God. And because of God is, is light, because God is light, you need to know that. Do not allow anybody to take, to make you compromise or put you under a bondage of silence. Bondage of silence that that darkness and satanic, right? Because today, a lot of people will allow you to compromise in your workplace, for example. They will allow you to compromise. Oh, well, because of this other, oh, yes, we can just do it that way. No, no. if you know it's an evil deed, because sometimes, like, people that are working in the government office, 
they will give you a budget, for example. Let's say they give you a budget of $50,000. Budget said, hey, this budget I'm giving $50,000 is to go make new roads, for example, new roads in your country. That money, that $50,000, supposed to be used to make the roads. But some people will only, they will take the money, road they will make, eat the money, they compromise. Now they give you the money for that. You're supposed to use it what it's given for you. You'd use all of it. This is the reason why they pay you your salary. If you want to do anything with your salary, that's your business. That's what you're supposed to do with your salary. But when they give you a money to implement it in some place, like to build a water dam or a, a light system, you need to do just that. And don't use it for anything else. That's compromising. So, well, I really need it. Those people, they've been going by fine without light and water. Okay, they will go for another five years or 10 years. Right now, I need this for my family. So I'm going to take this money. I'm going to invest it into my family. Mm, that's a bad idea. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. It's not okay for you to do that. And don't do that because it's really terrible. And we shouldn't be encouraging that. That is evil. That is darkness. That is not okay to do that. So... Let's look at Martin Luther King. What did Martin Luther King say about, about things like that? He said, he said, our lives begin to end the day we, we became silent about things that matters. That means what he's saying is your life begins to end the day you begin to be silent about things that matter the most. The day you decided you're going to shut up, you're not going to talk about the things that matter the most, that day your life is ending. That's basically the thing. He tells us why we should not be silent. When we shoot, when we seek compromise, and evil things going on in the church, in our society. We shouldn't compromise. We shouldn't allow evil to take. We should speak about the things that matter the most. And we need to put action. We need to put solution to the things that matter the most. We cannot allow evil to just, because people are telling you to just be quiet. We cannot allow that. Because people are just telling you, you need to be quiet. You need not to say something. So you too, you've decided, so, oh, people said I should be quiet. So I'm going to stay quiet, even though you know whatever they're doing, it's not okay. So all the voice, I am encouraging all the power voice. Because out there, there are fighting women, there are fighting men out there. That are, God have put you, God have put you on earth for a purpose like this, for you to tackle the the ill things that are happening in the in your country in your community in your right? but you decided no i'm not gonna do it you are failing on your mission and you need to know that and you need to wake up and start doing which god has asked you to do here on earth so the only people who love silent and run away from the light are the ones that practice evil so that is why they, they hate light and love silence because darkness is silent. Silence equals to darkness and, and silence is satanic and it's demonic. You don't want to be part of it. Don't be part of it. Please speak up. Speak up, speak up, speak up. You need to speak up against the evil. If you see parliamentarians are... Uh, they are passing wrong laws that is going to affect generation to come. You need to stand up as a pilot there because God puts you there for a reason. It's not for you to just go earn money and just live whatever life. No, it's for you to make a change, 
for you to make the right decision that God is going to be proud of you and say, well, when you die and you go to God and God is going to look at you and say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Now God is going to turn his back at you, say, you, I do not know you. You are evil. I put you on earth and you were sitting down there. They were making this ill uh, 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 policy that is affecting my children. And you never said anything. And you said that you, I am your child. No, I do not know you. You don't want to wait for that time. You want God to be proud of you. You want to do the righteous thing because the righteous thing is the only thing that's going to take you to the kingdom of God because you need to seek the kingdom of God. How can you seek the kingdom of God? By you doing the righteous thing, by you doing the right thing, by you living by the side of truth because that is the only thing. You cannot be bending the rule. You cannot be lying about certain things because that is not going to take you to the kingdom of God. It's not. You cannot be compromised and say, well, I have to put food. Yes, God knows that you have to feed your children, but yet he put you in that place for a reason. It's for you to stand up against corruption. It's for you to stand against any deception that is going going on. You are the mouth speaker of God. That is why God put you there. You are the eyes, you are the ears, you are the mouth, you are the everything of God. That is why you are there. But if you are there as the ambassador of God and yet you are letting those things slide past you and you do nothing about it, God is not going to be happy about you. You need to speak up. You need to say something. Even though it goes and you losing your job, as long as you are doing the right thing, God will never forsake you. God will never leave you. He will never forsake you because you are standing on the side of truth. We should always stand on the side of truth. It is better for us to stand on the side of truth. So don't be part of silence. Don't be. Speak up. If you know something's hurting you, it's not going down well with you, is God telling you to speak up against it? But if you're going to say, hmm, I have to put food on the table, I'm not going to say anything. As long as I'm getting paid, no problem. And if a money is given to you, you need to use it appropriately. Use it for the purpose that which the money was given to you. That's it. Don't go said, well, we're going to share it 50-50. The government have 50, I have 50. That is just evil. That is just demonic. That is just plain not okay. They give you 50,000 for education, invest that 50,000 on education. God knows that you need to provide for your family. God knows that you have to pay your bills. God knows you have to do certain things. And if you're faithful to God, God will be faithful to you. But if you're unfaithful to God, God will be unfaithful to you too. It's just come on like that. It's very simple like that. Live righteously. Live righteous life. That is the best kind of life that you ever live for yourself. Righteous life. Say the truth. Speak the truth. No matter what, it doesn't matter if it's your mom, your dad, your brother, or say, speak the truth. Because the truth is the only thing that will liberate you. The only thing that will set you free. Lies cannot do that. Non-truth cannot do that. The absolute truth is the only thing that's going to liberate you. If you keep living on lies, it's not going to take you nowhere. Lies will never take you nowhere. But the truth and righteousness, truth and righteousness will take you a far, far away. Make sure God is proud of you. Whatever you do, you should ask yourself this question. What I'm about to do right now, is God going to be happy with me? If the answer is yes, you keep on doing it. But if the answer is no, Stop it immediately and do what is right. Because righteousness is the way out. Righteousness is the is a big deal. Righteousness. Truth. 
that is the only thing we should build any foundation from. Righteousness and truth. You build any foundation. Doesn't matter your financial relationship, career. If you build it on the foundation of absolutely truth and righteousness, it will always prevail. It will always stand. But when you build it on lies, it will crumble. When the truth comes out, it will crumble. It will fall. It will, it will destroy when the truth comes out. So never build any foundation in your life based on lies but the truth. Because the truth will always prevail. The truth will always stand. And nobody can do anything against it. Satan cannot stand against it. Doesn't matter how powerful you are. You can never stand against the truth and righteousness. You can never he always will find his way out to come back. No matter how you try to, to tear it apart, you, you try to put it under the carpet, you put it under the table, throw it in the sea, buried it with the devil. He always finds his way how he's going to resurrect himself to come back to life, say, hey, hey, you can't kill me. You can get rid of me. I am the truth. I am a righteousness. So that's why it's important for us to build it on the truth, on the foundation of truth, and everybody will be okay. But when we keep lying to ourselves, we keep doing, you're going to bring yourself back to zero. If you don't want to bring yourself back to zero all the time, build it on the, the, the foundation of truth and righteousness. So I hope this was helpful for you guys today. So as I said, that time is going to change. Like, so for the, from now on to the end of this month, I'm going to be doing the broadcast at this time of the day. So I just want you guys to make note of it and be aware of it, that it's changed. And new broadcast time will be at 3 p.m. My time, I think, is Eastern Standard Time. Okay. Thank you guys so much and have a wonderful day and God bless you guys. I'll see you guys.